Hey everyone, so uh, who remembers Guitar Pro 5? <laughs> um, pretty old software now, but uh, in my opinion it was one of the best guitar notation softwares ever. Uh, but then, you know, Guitar Pro 6 came out and uh, visually it, it was like a 10, you know, it, it was beautiful. And, um, well, I mean, when it was released, you know, it had some problems. I know one problem that I have is that uh, for some reason, whenever I try and play a song back, uh, it's really quiet. And, I mean, I don't use the realistic sound engine because it's it's really not very realistic. And I think it sounds worse than MIDI. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I got I to gotta crank the, the MIDI tracks up. And then if for some reason I do switch to the RSE. Oh, it's, it's clipping. It's distorted. Oh, it sounds awful. Um, but, you know, they probably won't fix it until, like, Guitar Pro 7, but whatever. Uh, but I think uh, one of the biggest problems a lot of people had was the way they handled uh, drum notation now. Uh, I mean, they they have a real drum notation format now, but before, you know, in Guitar Pro 5, we would just write the drums on the, uh, like, uh, tablature, you know, and it was like 36 for kick and 40 for snare and whatever. And... Uh, <laughs> it was really it was really fast it was really easy especially you know once you learned um what all the uh, numbers were well we don't have that anymore so uh, i mean that sucks but whatever uh and because we don't have it anymore it it made it more difficult to import uh drum tracks um so that's that was one of the biggest problems i think people have with guitar pro uh but fear not because I found a solution. I ended up going to their uh, Facebook page and I was like, hey, uh, how the heck do we import uh, drum tracks? And, you know, somebody responded. And they're like, oh, thanks for uh, contacting us. Uh, you know, contact customer support and uh, we'll help you out. And I, was like, I was like, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. <laughs> so I ended up figuring it out myself. And after I found the solution, I posted it. And, uh, People saw it and they're like, oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, you're a genius. You know, um, no, no, they didn't say that. But uh, it did help some people. And even today, there's, you know, occasionally somebody stumbles upon it and the, they respond to it. And they're like, oh, thank you. So I figured I would just make a uh, a video on how to do it because who knows how long that's going to be on their, uh, their Facebook timeline. It's probably way at the bottom now. So anyways, uh, what you need to do... To get these drum tracks into your Guitar Pro, uh, you write something. I, I wrote this. I'm not a drummer, so... It's a, I don't know, metal, I guess, gent breakdown. I don't know what it is. It's cliche, though. That's what it is. That's for sure. <laughs> so after you do that, you write something out. Um... I'm using Studio One, so I just got to right-click the MIDI file and uh, export parts to the MIDI file. I think it's you know somewhere else in here too, somewhere. Oh yeah, instrument parts, uh, export parts MIDI file. Um, probably different depending on what DAW you are using. Uh, who knows? Maybe you can just drag and drop. I don't know. But after you export it, drum RPG maker, <laughs> drum kit. Uh, you go to Guitar Pro, File, Import MIDI. There it is. Import the drum, Ugh. drum kit. Goodness gracious! <laughs> uh, and as you can see, it is a piano. And see what I mean? I gotta, gotta crank it. And it's a piano. We don't want it. Unless, unless you do. I mean, sometimes it sounds kind of cool, and you, you might be able to turn that into a sweet guitar riff. But, <laughs> but. Uh, what we need to do is we need to come over here to this little guitar right here and MIDI settings. This is where we want to be. Uh, now, if if you were familiar with Guitar Pro 5, you might remember whenever you had a drum track, it was always on channel 10. I don't know why, but channel 10 was always reserved for drums. And uh, so what we need to do is we need to kind of trick Guitar Pro into thinking 
that this drum kit is on channel 10 when we import it. So what we got to do is we just, we just change those to 10, file, export, MIDI, drum kit, replace it, close it, discard, file, import MIDI, drum kit, and ta-da, there it is, our drum kit, track, MIDI. All right, well, I hope this uh, helps some people out, and uh, I hope it improves your creative workflow and helps you write stuff faster or come up with new ideas or something. All right, well, I'm going to get off here now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later. I do not know how to get out of here. How do I end this screen capture? Uh... Later. Maybe not. All right, I'm going to try it again. Later. Well, what in the world? All right, this is a little ridiculous. All right, <laughs> stop.